butterfly koi. These are all rescue koi. Look at how gorgeous the fins are on that fish. Looking back at the house, absolutely gorgeous. with Sartapanga. This is my channel, Greg with Sartapanga. And we're out with Serene Water Gardens, Dave Hamlin, at his personal pond. So Dave, first thing I noticed is it goes down to a big pond down there. And I can't even see, look at the edge there. You can't even see, that's a big waterfall. Yep. So you had a yard that sloped away. Yep. Wow, this is pretty awesome. So how long has this been in now? This section of the pond has been in for about two years. Uh -huh. From here down, just about not even a year. Okay, because of course you updated it. You made yep. it bigger. Yep. So you said, oh, I can expand it down there. And then of course, which is what often happens is living the aquascape lifestyle for a reason. What often happens is the hardscape goes in. You got a fire pit down there. You got new plants and new trees growing in. All those things around it. I love the spillway ball. And I can't wait to see that waterfall. I love these steps. Some beautiful koi. That's a beautiful butterfly. Look at that butterfly koi. These are all rescue koi. Look at how gorgeous the fins are on that fish. That's a butterfly koi. I'm not sure exactly what type. It's a mutt, but man, is that beautiful. I'll give you a hundred bucks for them. Oh, that's my favorite one. All right, I'll give you a thousand bucks for them. <laughs> and there is that waterfalls. I love these steps that you put in here. Oh, I love how the sun comes in. How gorgeous is that? It's the little things that matter. Usually you just have two big frame rocks, but that big boulder right here to create this narrow channel is just gorgeous and then of course the moss that will grow on it morning sun oh man this is great this looks like a good family hangout place yep. right down here fire pit area the seats looking back at the house absolutely gorgeous So a thousand gallon reservoir here, and then the waterfalls that drops down, probably about a five foot drop. So in all, if I was to install this water feature today, this is probably a $75,000 price tag on this. Everything included here in terms of the reservoir, waterfall, and upper pond area. This was a project that started out two years ago, and at first it was just these waterfalls here and then the pond, and that's what it started off with two years ago. And then last year we added on, we extended it, made it a little bit bigger, added this spillway bowl right here, as well as a negative edge that flows over right in there. And we added this walkway, some steps, and a little patio area for the family to hang out, have some fires, and enjoy the waterfall. But this is the reservoir that we put in. This is about a thousand gallon reservoir of water storage underneath so we can have this so it disappears or we can have it in a way to where there's actually about 10 inches of standing water like there is now so a couple of things we created kind of like a little beached area that you could just walk in right there if you wanted to get your feet wet we've got the waterfalls right here it's probably close to five feet of cascading waterfalls in that area pump vaults so the pumps there's two pumps they both sit down in here one of them feeds up to the main waterfalls which is the top over there and then the other one goes to the aquascape spillway bowl up in the corner there so this water feature here, selling price as is with the patio pavers, the walkway, the steps and the pond and everything is about a $50,000 water feature. Without it, it's probably closer to 35, 40,000, but the pond itself total length is about 18 feet from end to end. And then about 10 feet from its widest point there. We built this stepping stone walkway going across. And then we have a large fish cave that goes in right through there. All of the koi that are in here, they're all rescued. We had a customer that was sick and they wanted to make sure that their koi fish were all taken care of. So these are all rescue koi that we uh, got from their pond and we added them here. Now I see this more and more, which is traditional water lilies that are planted in pots that haven't had soil added to them. And as you can see, there's a lot of empty space that soil could go in there and we could fertilize these with fertilizer. And then this plant right here is almost completely growing out of the substrate. In fact, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna pull this out. This completely needs to get transplanted. More soil needs to be added in here and fertilizer. Aquatic plants need new fertilizer and new soil every single year because it just disappears. Thank you. 
I think the best way to decide if you're going to hire a certified Aquascape contractor or not is to visit the ponds that they built, and in particular, the ponds that they live with. Dave Hamlin's got a little paradise of that. Of course, he's always expanding on and he's always adding to. So if you're interested in hiring a certified Aquascape contractor, visit how they're actually themselves living the Aquascape lifestyle. I love my job.